Hey guys, so I'm literally doing this out of complete impulse, but I think I'm gonna make my own prom dress. Me, as in, I've never sewn anything in my life. I'm currently driving to Joann's right now, and I am gonna make my own prom dress. I think I'm gonna do it in like a champagne, kind of champagne color with like white little lace emblems, if that makes any sense. So wish me luck. So this is what I got, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it. So I got this tool, and this tool is supposed to go all the way around the body part because I want it to make it look really flowy. And this is also the lace that I got that's gonna go on top of it. I really wanted it to be like a florally type of thing, and this is the only one that they have, and it was like super, super cheap. So I thought that'd be really cute, and I could just cut out those patterns. And then this is the color that I'm going for, but I'm not 100% sure because I don't know. I just I just feel like it might just wash me out. Also, excuse my nails. I've been biting them and I need to get them done again. But yeah, so the total of this was $49 because I had a coupon from Joann's for $10 off of a purchase of $50 since this was $60. And um, yeah. messy I just got back from work like I'm wearing a tank top so I'm not naked um I hope you guys really enjoyed that montage so now here's for the information 
So before you guys say anything about how the dress looks different each time, um, I've literally changed this dress so many times, but they're all pretty much the same exact style. It's just I switched out the fabrics like in and out. So for the very back part of the dress, as you guys can see with the really long triangle one, I changed that to only tulle, so that way it was kind of see-through. And then for the very back part, it was just kind of basically a rectangle, so that way like it had some support. But for the straps and stuff like that, they were basically all tulle. I also added a little belt piece, but you guys didn't see that because I literally did that on the day of prom. And I am so sorry I did not film any of that. I was working on this till like 3 a.m. the morning of prom, and then the day of prom I was still basically working on it still adding some more flowers I like readjusting the belt and like everything like that I added a zipper and I don't know if that was shown in the video but I added a zipper but when I put on those little detailing and stuff like that they kind of wrinkled up and bunched up and I literally lost like three inches and I was like oh crap it's not gonna work anymore so I added a corset backing which you guys could totally do it's super easy put some like little loops on the side and just put a really thin piece of string like all the way through and you're good. The total of it was technically like a hundred dollars but that's because I messed up the little floral like print lace kind of thing. I ended up not using that at all so that would have saved me like extra money. Also I bought a little poofy Amazon like petticoat underneath but I was able to return that anyways. I highly recommend you guys to definitely try and make your own prom dress. It is literally an experience. I had so many teachers come up to me and be like all in awe about like how I made my own prom dress and everything like that. I just it just gives me like a pat in the back that like I succeeded and I wore my own prom dress at prom for my senior year. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make your own prom dress and if you guys do make your own prom dress like literally tag my Instagram and I definitely want to see it. To come from a freshman getting a C on a sewing project because you can't sew straight to being a senior and making your own prom dress like that's crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below whether or not you think that you might do your own prom dress next year. And if this is your last prom, then like comment down below where you guys are going for college. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.